Welcome to the tour of my boat, Brainwashed. This is a 2004 Silverton 39 motor yacht. You can see the hull is in immaculate condition. It has received a graphene shine finish last autumn. It's pollen season now, so it's a little bit hard to keep everything clean. I have added some aqua deck to the swim platform. That makes it a little bit less slippery. I've left the winter canvas up because of the pollen season in the hopes of keeping the pollen down inside. There is an ice maker. Let's go up to the bridge. Nice spacious area for guests to sit and visit with the skipper while underway. You can see there are split controls. I have added a Simrad chart plotter and uh, radar unit. There are 552 hours on the engines, which is a remarkably low amount. I added this Fusion four zone audio system. This MSUD755 head is new as of a year ago, replacing the older one that was there which was the same model. There are four audio zones in this boat. One is, one is on the uh, fore deck. One is in the cockpit and bridge area. One is in the aft cabin and one is in the salon. In the salon, I have a dual type of system. It's an Onkyo receiver that operates in a slave mode to the 12 volt of fusion, but it also operates in one 10 volt mode and drives five monitor audio speakers and a very large subwoofer, which creates an amazing listening room. This boat has a bowsprit, so you can stand over the anchor. There is a windlass controlled by foot out on the bowsprit, or you can control from the bridge. Again, there's so much pollen, the boat is covered in a dusting of it. Normally I have a sun pad that uh, is fastened to those snaps, but I take that in for the winter. Well, let's go down below and see the cabin. There's also a remote unit for the audio system here and also with this fusion system you can control it with an app on your phone and control the volume in all zones. It's really quite handy. The electrical panel is here, 110 volt and 12 volt. This boat has four batteries. They're all AGM batteries and they're all Essentially brand new. I've just replaced them one last month and the others uh, in the autumn. I've also put in a new battery charger 
a 30 amp smart battery charger and that's new as of uh, December. There is a high-low wood table. The seats that are underneath there actually can fit together and the top flips over to a solid wood top and it creates a nice coffee table that goes here. Currently I have them set up in the seating mode to expand the amount of seating at the dining table. The flex steel couch pulls out to a double sleeper for additional accommodations. There are three zones of HVAC. You'll see one in the controllers right there, one in the forward stateroom, one in the salon, and one in the aft cabin. Two of the three have been replaced in the last um, five years. In the galley, we step down a step to a wood floor, and we have a Norcold refrigerator. This unit I replaced approximately four years ago, and excuse the mess. Lots of storage space. There is a ceramic cooktop, three elements, princess, in pristine condition, microwave. There is an oven on this boat. Always good to know that you can bake a cake. There are two full heads. There's a good sized shower with natural light. The cabinet pulls out with additional storage space behind. There is a dual door system so that guests staying in the forward stateroom can have their own entrance and exit to the head for privacy. And there is a nice door that slides closed to give your overnight guests some privacy and their own entrance to the head. There are hanging cedar lockers, two of them, in the forward stateroom. Generous size berth and ample storage space beneath with pull-out drawers and this corner storage unit which allows you to have numerous shelves. I like to keep drinks in there. You notice all the wood on this boat is matchstick cherry. There is great old world's craftsmanship, joinery and cabinet work throughout the boat that is just lovely. Rheostats on all the lights. Shade on the windshield to keep the sun down. I think that filters out 85% or something in that order. Again, loads of cabinet space, library of service books and whatnot up here. And let's go down to the aft cabin. Generous size berth. Again, hanging cedar locker. And that's a full height closet. Again, a door that gives you privacy in the aft cabin. And head, again the mirrored cabinet pulls out for additional space, great for towels, storage space underneath, and great amount of space for toiletries here.
additional storage space. There's a little TV up here that pops down, which I don't use. And additional storage space, pull out drawers on both sides. Tons of storage space and also this great corner unit that allows you to stow some bags, weekend, overnight duffel bags, etc. Additional cabinets, access panels to the hydraulic trim tabs, and actually the fresh water tank, which is 100 gallons, uh, is accessible behind there. And here is the shower. Again, a very generous size shower. Behind this access panel is the clendenning, which is the device that reels up the um, shore power cord automatically. The push button. All the lights are on rheostat. There are three HVAC zones. Underneath this berth is another HVAC unit. I replaced that one approximately four and a half five years ago. There also is a hot water tank underneath the aft cabin berth. The other HVAC unit is underneath here. And then the third one is accessed through this panel or around the other side. There's another access to it. All the pieces of the floor come out underneath this protective cover. And that allows you to access things like the C strainer system for the HVAC units. Let's go down to the engine room. I'm going to turn the light on and then we will have a quick look. There are two Crusader 8.1 liter engines, gasoline, that power this boat. And these are it's either 385 horsepower or 425. I can't recall. There are twin 167 gallon gas tanks. Aluminum tanks against the port and starboard hulls. The engines are in pristine condition. They've been well maintained. You'll notice the bilge is bone dry. I like a boat with a dry bilge. And there's the Kohler 7.5 kilowatt hour generator. Battery that goes with the generator. Holding tank, 50 gallon holding tank for the septic system. Another battery and a bank of two batteries there. New battery charger, which I installed several months ago. Manifolds and risers. So that is the engine room. And I believe that completes our tour. Thanks for visiting Brainwashed.